welcome to my YouTube channel, How Fast You Go. We are riding on the, the Blowdown Trail at Hartley Park, Duluth, Minnesota. Just climbed up and now we're going down. Kind of down. It's a little up and down. Kind of like me fast, but not that fast, kind of half fast. Anyhow, just coming off a weekend of the Rich Drew The Ride series. Highly recommend it. I did all three sessions. I did 201 and 301 on Saturday. And I did the jump clinic on Sunday. If you have experience, I would probably do 301 in the jump clinic. 201 was good. Did some basic foundational stuff. Um, I thought 301 was, for me, personally better. There were some people that definitely needed to be in 201. But, um, yeah, maybe not. I don't know, maybe they're just rusty. But, the clinic was good. It's not cheapest. It is definitely not the cheapest clinic. There are a lot of local clinics. Rich has got good experience. He's raced, not that you want to race, but he's got a lot of good techniques. He's a good teacher. I like the way he teaches. Um, watch where I'm going here, make sure I don't run into anybody. Um, Mason, his assistant, really good as well. They've each raced motocross done moto race bikes so they know what they're talking about and like I said I thought it was well worth the, the price I think it worked out to be for me doing all three about $76 an hour or something like that for training it wasn't all one-on-one -on -one, because you're in a group but there's a lot of personalized individual feedback which makes it worthwhile Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Just me. So, like I said, definitely worthwhile. Yeah, Ryan Leach, trials rider, says you should at least do one training class every season just to kind of build some more of those proficiencies in there. And I would tend to agree with that. Um, I didn't do that last. Well, I tried to do that last year with Dirt Smart MPB, but had to cancel out on one of the sessions because of my hip needing to be replaced which has been done so now I'm rehabbing that or pre yeah rehabbing it I guess you would say so and that's going good too so having some concerns with my breathing I don't know if it's post COVID stuff or I did have a heart attack in 2017. So I might get that checked out just to make sure I'm not getting any more blockage. Uh, it's hard to imagine, but for what I do that I'd have blockage, but I don't know, I could just notice a little bit of difference in that. Being a heart attack so far, it gets you concerned. So, well, so, like I said, might get that checked out. We'll see where that goes. But for now, I've switched over onto the guardrail at Hartley on that last turn back there. For the sake of not trying to keep these videos too long, we'll cut it off in a minute. But as you can see, great trails in Hartley. A lot of people complain that it's too busy. A lot of hikers, walk, you know, walkers, dog walkers, and that is true. There are a lot, but the trails are always kept in good shape. The trail stewards do a phenomenal job in here too. COGS, the local trail organization, supports it all. And gets us riding. All right, 
thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll catch you on another one.